Hello, my crafty loving friends. Welcome to Repurpose My Way. I'm Shelly. I'm so glad you're here. Today I have a couple of rustic pieces of decor that I've done up to uh, put in my booth because I need to put some more stuff in there. I go every Thursday. It's open from Thursday to Sunday. Uh, and I need to put a few more things in there. So let's see what I can create with these items. So this is a simple but basic waste basket that I am going to do up. I got this from a few boxes that I got from my friend Kathy. She brought them over while she's cleaning out some of her closets and she thought that I would appreciate some of these items and I really really do. So this is from her and I am going to redo this into my primitive rustic style and I'm going to start with my antique wax watered down and it also has some black paint mixed in it. We're going to do just the top probably third of the basket and I'm going to put it on and then wipe it back and look at that beautiful brown color that it creates. It's like a brown black color and I just adore it so much. So I use it on a, a lot. <laughs> so uh, I have, I'm just going to go all the way around the top third of the basket and then when I'm done I'm going to wipe it all off and just be left with that beautiful brown uh, hue or tint on that top part. So now that that's done, wiped back and dried, I'm going to use some of my folk art black acrylic paint and I'm going to go on the bottom third of the basket and just leave, a, I, I say a third, yeah I guess that's what it is, but I am going to just do, I'm going to leave a strip in the middle. Now you don't have to, but I'm going to be putting jute rope around the middle of it and I just thought that it would stick better and just save a little bit of paint, not really all that much, but uh, i that's what I decided to do. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, so I just think it looks better, I guess. So now that it's dry, I am sanding it back a little bit and just distressing. And I also distress the top stained part and take a little bit of that that stain off uh, you know primitive rustic decor you always not always but most of the time uh, distressing is a good thing so this is what I had my plan was for the middle part of the basket was to go around and around and around I don't remember how many times I went around but I took the jute rope and went around until that whole piece was covered that I did not stain or paint I really love how the stain, the black paint, and the jute rope play well together. They all just, each section just bounces off each other so nicely. So now I ripped off a piece that's the same height as my waste basket, maybe a little bit longer, and I'm going to put it on the inside of my basket. So right here I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do it. I want it so that it's folded over at the top so you can't see it uh, or you can't see the frayed edge but I've decided that I'm going to go around the outside like this so I glue and take the edge and then when I'm all done I can tuck it all back inside. Now it's a little bit long I do go beyond where I start when I get to the end I go beyond it probably a couple inches so that I make sure that it gets fully covered all the way around and you can't see the basket from the inside. This way when I do it when I fold it in it's going to have a nice edge around the top and I can I, there's no sew here you just glue it and it stays as you can see there. I did have to go around at the end and just kind of re-glue and move some spots that looked like they had fallen or the glue hadn't stuck that well so but for the most part I think it came out really nice and so I of course I had extra because I wanted to go long and make sure I had enough 
So all I did was just cut off what I didn't need and then rip it off right there. So and then I just tuck it all in and make it all nice and neat in there. And I think it came out really cute. I love the inside. Now you could put a blanket in there or towels or a plant, whatever you want. So this is a napkin ring I got from Hobby Lobby last year, I think, from their spring decor. And it was $3.99, but I got it on sale, I'm sure. I'm sure it was 50% off or 40% off. But I got a few of them, and I've used those. But I decided I want to put this on the front. And the ring that I had, I wish I had saved the other one, or maybe I used it on something else. But I would have used them as little handles on either side if I had two that matched and I did not I couldn't find it I looked everywhere but anyway here it is hope you like it So I have here a natural wood butter churn and I've had this for a while and when I got it I got it at a discount because it had stains on the back of it and when I displayed it I just turned it around but I decided I wanted to darken it up again with my stain that I my stain mix that I just love to use. So I'm going all around that with the it's antique wax watered down with some black paint to give it a darker finish on it. And here it is, all, I'm wiping it back and I love that dark deep brown black color that that stain gives me. So the more that I rub it, the more it take comes off and you can see the grain of the wood underneath and I just love that. And so this is going to be a really simple project. I'm just doing the inside rim because you are able to see that when the top moves around a little bit. And then I also did the, the top part and the dowel on the, that goes through. I hope you enjoyed my two simple projects today. I appreciate you watching and I hope that you have a great day.